Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Math with Sir Kiko. In today's lesson, we're going to discuss on how to subtract decimal numbers with decimal parts up to three decimal places without regrouping. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's go. We are now in week number six. Subtract decimal numbers with decimal parts up to three decimal places without regrouping. Now, the learning competency, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to subtract decimal numbers with decimal parts up to three decimal places without regrouping. Now, in, ste in steps in subtracting decimal numbers, first you're going to write the decimal numbers in column. Then, you need to subtract the decimal numbers like the whole number. Don't forget to align the decimal points, okay, before you subtract. And then, step number three, align the decimal points to answer the decimal numbers above. Okay? Now, let's have the uh, example number one to further analyze how to subtract the decimal numbers. First, number one, we have 45 and 789 thousands minus 334 and 486 thousands. So, again, Align the decimal points in column. Okay? So, always remember that the decimal point is aligned vertically. And, and then proceed to subtract. 9 minus 6, the answer is 3. 8 minus 8, the answer is 0. 7 minus 4, the answer is 3. 5 minus 4, the answer is 1. And 4 minus 3, the answer is 1. Then, don't forget to place your decimal point. Okay? So, the answer is 11 and 303 thousands. Okay? As simple as that. Don't forget to align the decimal point and proceed to subtraction. Then, example number 2. We have 649 thousands minus 524 thousands. Okay? Again, align the decimal point in column or vertically. Then, proceed to subtraction. 9 minus 4, the answer is 5. 4 minus 2, the answer is 2. 6 minus 5, the answer is 1. And then, bring down the decimal point. So, therefore, the answer is 125 thousands. Okay? Number 3. 58 and 7,591 ten thousands minus 24 and 324 thousands. So, as you can see, so this would be 10 thousands place and this should be thousands place. So, add zero if possible. Again, don't forget to align your decimal point in column. Then, proceed to subtraction. So, 1 minus 0, the answer is 1. 9 minus 4, the answer is 5. 5 minus 2, the answer is 3. 7 minus 3, the answer is 4. 8 minus 4, the answer is 4. 5 minus 2, the answer is 3. Then don't forget to place your decimal point. The answer is 34 and 4,351 ten thousands. Okay? Or number 3, we have 67 and 857 thousands minus 54 and 65 hundreds. Now, Align the decimal point in column and then add 0 if possible. Now, proceed to subtraction. We have 7 minus 0, the answer is 7. 5 minus 5, the answer is 0. 8 minus 6, the answer is 2. 7 minus 4, the answer is 3. And 6 minus 5, the answer is 1. Therefore, place your decimal point. The answer is 13 and 207. Thousands. And for number 5, we have 189 and 473 thousands. Then we have 26 and 351 thousands. A. So, let's align the decimal point in column. Then proceed to subtraction. 3 minus 1, the answer is 2. 7 minus 5, the answer is 2. 4 minus 3, the answer is 1. 9 minus 6, the answer is 3. 8 minus 2, the answer is 6. And bring down 1. Then 
place your decimal point. The answer is 163 and 122 thousands. Okay? So, I give you one minute to answer each of the following questions. Comment down your answer in the comment section. So, guided practice. I'm starts now. Subtract the following decimal numbers. Number 1, 45 and 326. 1,000 minus 23 and 114 thousands. Number 2, 78 and 450 thousands minus 12 and 320 thousands. Number 3, we have 9 and 876 thousands minus 4 and 321 thousands. Number 4, we have 120 and 300 thousands. Minus 100 and 200 thousands. And number 5, we have 6, 6 and 543 thousands minus 1 and 111 thousands. Okay, comment down your answer in the comment section. For number 1, the answer is correct 22 and 212 thousands. Number 2, the answer is 66 and 130 thousands. Correct? Number 3, we have 5 and 555 thousands. And number 4, we have 20 and 100 thousands. And number 5, we have 5 and 432 thousands. Okay? I hope you all already know how to subtract the decimal numbers. Now, take note, in subtracting decimal numbers, always remember to write the decimal numbers in column. Subtract the decimal numbers like a whole number. But don't forget to align first the decimal point to the answer in decimal numbers above. Okay? So, that's it. In real life application, we have the problem. Number one, we have a car gas tank contained 45 and 678 liters of fuel. After a long trip, driver used up 23 and 600, uh, 345 liters. How many liters of fuel remain in the tank? Again, they align the decimal point in column. And then, subtract 8 minus 5. The answer is 3. 7 minus 4. The answer is 3. 6 minus 3. The answer is 3. 5 minus 3, the answer is 2. And 4 minus 2, the answer is 2. So, therefore, the answer is 22 and 200, uh, 333 thousands. Hope you will remain in the tank. Okay? So, try to practice your skills. Subtract the following decimal numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And comment down your answer in the comment section below. Okay? So, that's it for today. Thank you and God bless everyone.